So over here, you can see that I have a character. And now, let's say I want to enable collide so that the other objects collide with the character. So in order to do that, first of all, I'm going to go around and click on the Photoshop icon right here to edit the original because there's no object that the character can collide with at the moment. So let the file load uh, over here. And now, as you can see, this is the file in Photoshop. I'm just going to go around and close this folder, press the plus button on the top, and let's just go around and use, uh, let's say, a circle right here, just like that on the top right here. So I'm just going to keep it on the side and save this out right here. So once we do that, we can just close this out right here. And what happens is that it updates out right here. You can see that this is here. So if I were to go inside now, and if I want to enable collide, what we can do is we can go over here and then we can go to behavior right here and we can click on physics just like this. So now the tags we can enable for this is uh, collide and dynamic. Once we do that, and if we were to go on to record right here, let's see what happens. It actually falls on the ground. So in order to let it collide with the character, what we need to do is we need to select the character, the main character right here. And then what we need to do is do the same. So I need to add in a behavior called physics and in for tags, I just need to add in collide and nothing else. So now if I were to go to record right here, let's see what happens. You can see that the, uh, that this spear actually collides with the character right there on the head. So now let's just go around over here and let's just select this and I'm going to make this object draggable. So I'm just going to add in a dragger right here, just like this. And if I were to go on to record now, so I can click and drag this and that is how it seems. So I'm just going to go around onto dragger and I'm going to uh, go to return to rest and that's going to be zero right here so that if I were to let go, you can see that that is how it happens. So you can see that it's not affecting the arm right now for some reason, but anyways, you can see that effect, it affects on the hair and so forth. It doesn't let me actually move it out onto the other side. So let me just do, uh, just go to Chloe right here and then I'm going to go around and then I'm going to use the transform tool to scale this down right here. And what I can do is you can see that now it goes on to the other side as well, just like this. So the arm is draggable right here, as you can see, and uh, it actually hits around the body part as well. So over here, the problem we still have is that it does not collide with the arm. It does collide with the body, as you can see, it does not collide with the arm. So now to solve that out, let's go to Chloe character right here. And then here you can see that there's the left arm and right arm, and that's where it's not colliding. So I'm just going to go around and enable collide on both of these as well, just like this. And now you can see that it collides with the hands, the arms as well, just like that. And that is how you can enable collision inside of character animator for characters. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.